Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is June 16th, 2017. It is my 67th outing of this year. And as you guys can see, it is that time of the month again. Yeah. And I am not talking about PMS, of course, right? I'm talking about Mystery Tackle Box, right? This is what we're going to do today. We're going to do a Mystery Tackle Box unboxing plus slam. I mean, time passes so fast, right? It is already the month of June. My father has arrived all the way from Brazil. I got him set up here on a little D-bomb casting out there. But we are going to do the mystery tackle box is lamb today, okay? Panfish edition for the month of June. And I gotta tell you guys, I think we really need to redeem ourselves from the fishing session that I did yesterday, my 66 outing, right? Because yesterday I only caught three fish. So hopefully Mr. Tackle Box is gonna put me on some really decent fish today. You know, I'm expecting good things from inside the box, okay? Before I do the unboxing for today, I just wanted to let you guys know Extreme Fully Fishing has partnered up with Mr. Tackle Box this month with a promo code, that's right. So if you guys have never tried Mr. Tackle Box before, right? I recommend, I am a big supporter of the novelty of tackle exploration. You can punch it in, promo code Extreme Philly at the checkout, okay? So you can get $10 off your first ever box. And not only that, for this month only, this month of June, if you use that promo code during checkout, there's going to be a raffle by the end of the month. MTB plus EPF, we're giving out two shirts just like this one that I'm using today, personalized, signed for you, okay? So two winners by the end of the month, everyone who used the promo code will be in the raffle. We're gonna do the little raffle and select two winners to win two shirts like this signed for you okay mtb shirts i recommend everyone to participate if you already have an account with mtb a lot of people have been asking me you know what happens if i'm i'm, I'm already subscribed to mtb right well find a family member or find a friend and just open a new account for a month you know what i'm saying i mean five dollars after the promo code i think it is very worth it you know to win one of these if you're a true supporter here on the channel right but anyways let's get this unboxing started i'm gonna make it very quick as always and then we gotta try to catch some good panfish here today in new jersey let's do it <sighs> all right fellas let's try to make this unboxing as quick as possible as you guys know all my unboxings are ad lib so i have absolutely no idea what is inside this month's box okay so there we go, I just cut the box open, let's open it up for you guys here on camera, you guys get to get the first view, yeah, there you go, this is the panfish box for the month of June, as you guys can see, MTB is still rocking the new boxes, right, that comes with a little ruler for their little social media competition, let me see what is inside this month's box, okay, hopefully some cool stuff for us to use here at Newton Lake, Collinswood, New Jersey, okay? Let me try to find the what's inside card. So there you go. We got the what's inside card right here. It comes with three, six, wow, it comes with seven items inside uh, inside this month's box. Very interesting. Okay, let's go through them one by one, okay? First thing in the box is the crappy crank, a crappy crankbait by Jenko Fishing on the value of $5.49. You guys probably saw my face already because I really despise crankbaits, especially for panfish, yeah? But uh, okay, let's see, the crappy crankbait by Jenko Fish. No, you gotta be kidding me, right? Are you for real? Meet the crappy, the crappy crankbait right here on the value of $5.49. Dude, this ain't for panfish. No way, look at the size of that treble hook, man. This is a little bit uh this is a little bit too big for panfish, you know what I'm saying? Throw throw from eight to eighteen feet, like what? I'm fishing today in a place that is like four feet max, you know what I'm saying? What? Oh anyways, I'll talk to Mr. Tackle Box. <laughs> I'll talk to Mr. Tackle Box about this later. You know what? Let me leave a poll above this video here. 
would you use this in your area for your panfish? I mean, maybe, maybe it's me, you know, maybe around my area, the panfish, they don't get really big, you know what I'm saying? But would you use something like this in your area for panfish? I mean, look, this is pretty big, all right? That's pretty big. Okay, that's the first thing that came inside the box. Hopefully, we're going to catch a fish on this today. Second thing that came inside the box is the Mr. Crappy Sausage Head by Strike King on the value of $3.99. So, okay, at least it's a, it's a Strike King, right? There, oh, okay, there we go. I never heard about these things before. Okay, the Sausage Head comes a three-pack. It says the color here, Tuxedo Black. Very interesting, Tuxedo Black. Okay, now this is something around this area that I could potentially catch some panfish on or maybe even some crappie you know this right here not that much of a realistic goal you know what I'm saying all right we got here the hood and Nini twin tail by Stam is low on Zorro bait company on the value of 453 now you gotta realize that this Z Stam is low on Zorro bait company I have had a big trouble with their baits before if you watch my videos here on YouTube you know what I'm talking about, right? I failed miserably at catching some panfish under yours before because it was too big. And look, this here, I think it is pretty big. <laughs> I think it is pretty big too, but we will try our best to catch some fish on the stuff today, okay? We got here the Minnow by Panfish Attacker on the value of $2.99. So where my, is my Minnow? Oh, okay, a small Minnow soft plastics okay wow man this thing here is like what it's like 20 a pack i mean this thing is loaded you know what i'm saying definitely not scared of losing a few of these due to snag you know we gotta try these today we got the aberdeen blood red hook by true turn on the value of 192 because of course right mystery tackle box always gotta include some aberdeen hooks for some reason to hook those soft plastics you know i would have preferred truth be told something a little bit more um, like a jig hat you know but hey we will make you do with the Aberdeen hooks okay and finally the last thing that came in the box is the ripping shad by Northland on the value of $4.99 there we go ripping shad it says it rattles it up so there we go a little ripping shad right here this is a good size for panfish okay for bigger panfish and even for my my area I mean the panfish don't get really big, so hopefully we'll land something on that today. And finally, we got the garlic scent by MTB. So this is like, I, I, I guess this is like the free lure of the month, which is uh, just a little small pack of uh, MTB garlic scent. Check that out, huh? Looks like those uh, food things that are come inside my instant noodles. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll try applying some of these on the soft plastics today. You know what I'm saying? So this is what came inside this month's box. Um, overall opinion, personal opinion, the lures are a little bit big for my area. Maybe it is not for your area. I will have to talk to MTB about this kind of stuff, you know, I don't know. But uh, we will try our best to uh, make it work with these, okay? So let's get the fishing started. I'm gonna get my gear set up. Hopefully we will land some giant panfish over here today. Not a very realistic goal, but let's do it. All right, guys, so I got my setup ready for the day and it just so happened that while I was filming my MTB unboxing right over here, my dad actually landed a small largemouth bass on the missile baits, D-bomb, right over here. So, you know, I didn't get that on camera, otherwise I, I, I would show you guys, but it seems that like a free-falling approach is going to work on the lake today. Which is precisely why I am starting with the True Turn Aberdeen hook and I hooked with a little trailer, right? The Zorro, the Stam Zorros, uh, something and Nini, right? The little soft plastic with a twin tailed, uh, kind of a twin tail grub, right? So we're gonna roll with this setup so far, see if we can catch any panfish, okay? We may land some bass instead, I don't know. So stay tuned. Oh, easy duck. Apparently, I came inside a little duck nest. Check this out, huh? Just started the MTB. Oh my god, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mallards, man, with the mom right there. Look at that. 
definitely things that you don't see when you stay at home whoa okay he just left us a little gift here too look at that let me see if i can get a little bit closer without getting them too afraid let's see let's see if we can do this get a little bit closer look at that Ooh, man not bad not bad look at that wow they're letting me, they're, they're letting me be very close let me take a shot here of them i'm not gonna hurt you not gonna hurt you not gonna hurt you all right i'm backing down beautiful something came on top to get this little guy man i don't know what it was let's see if we can get a top water strike here whoa my do you see that whoa look at that two times whoa dude but the lure is too big the lure is too big man Fish on. Look at that. Woohoo! First fish of the day. What is this? Whoa! No kidding! First fish of the day on the Zorro yours. It is a beautiful, gorgeous warm mouth. Holy moly! Look at that. These are rare around these areas, guys. This is a warm mouth, the Lepomis gulosus. These are really rare. Uh, in in this area look how beautiful this fish is oh my god inhaled it look at that wow so gorgeous all right let me take a shot at this guy wow guys i can't i just can't man i mean look if it bit on the aberdeen hook right and the zorro twin tail grub right here let me unhook here real quick ah oh, there we go huh but i gotta tell you this is a this is a beautiful fish guys we don't see a lot of warm mouths look at the size of that mouth we don't see a lot of warm mouths around this area, you know, and this is a beautiful sample. Truly, truly a gorgeous fish. So let me release this guy uh, over here for you guys to see. Look at that. This is a beautiful warm mouth, guys. Look at the colors on that fish, man. Oh, my God. How can I kill? How can I kill something like this? There's no way I can kill something like that. All right, first fish of the day. We got this MTB slam started. Time to change lures. We got the stuff on the Aberdeen and the Zorro. Ooh, let's complete this lamb. Uh, so we're changing setups right here. I think I still got to use the Aberdeen hook, but this time we're going to put this panfish attacker right here, which is pretty much a minnow imitation. Check this out, huh, guys. Pretty much, you know, a little transparent, right? minnow imitation that seems that is going to work here really well now i gotta tell you something it was really tough for me to catch fish on that zorro in combination with this aberdeen hook because you know it's not that these lures don't work it is just that they would work so much better if they had some weight in it in other words if this was a jig head right but sadly you know i'm just kind of free falling then right uh since we are doing this already let's apply a little bit of this mystery tackle box garlic garlic scent okay let's see if this thing really works whoo my man i just got some of this in my hands man it smells awful it does smell truly like garlic Ugh. okay let's put a little bit on this here dude it's like honey this thing's like honey man now that i open this how am i gonna make sure that these things don't fall inside the box okay i gotta put inside this little container here let's do that yeah otherwise it's gonna go all around so okay Ugh. okay definitely very garlicky Ugh. let's let's catch some fish oh man this thing smells truly disgusting Ugh. this garlic stuff is no joke this garlic thing kills people whoa my dad got one. Holy cow, dude. My dad got one all the way at the back there. It's splashing. Let's see what my dad got over there. Dude, I only saw the fish splashing here. What is it? Ah, you got taco. <laughs> Large mouth bass. I thought it was a northern snake head. Bigger than the one before. Missile D-bomb doing what it's supposed to do. There we go, second fish of the day. You gotta be kidding me. Check this out, guys. This is another warm mouth. 
of all the sunfish around this lake. This is like the rarest one and we caught two today already, huh? That's pretty interesting. Well, this one was on the second bait that came inside the mystery tackle box. I already got a photo of a warm out, so I don't really need a photo of this guy. Let's just release it right away over here. But I just want to show you guys, this is a beautiful fish. Whoa, my dad's got a fish on. All right, let's release this one right over here. Let's see what he got. This is a nice bass, man. Check that out. D-bomb working great. Working great. Look at that. Yeah, a little bit better than the other ones. Look at that. Walking in Aba? Okay. A little bit better than the other ones. Check this out, huh? Man, inhale that D-bomb. I'm using an, a wide gap for my dad right here. No, good stuff. All right, let's release this little guy. Look at that, huh? He's ready to go, man. He does not know what happened to him. Three for my dad today so far while we're doing this MTB slam. That's pretty good. But uh, he needs something bigger. Maybe a snake head. We'll see, we'll see. All right, guys, so as you saw in this video, we pretty much got all the small soft plastics out of the way. It's time to take this Aberdeen hook out of here. Now we got to go before we go for the big ones, right? These are the big ones that came inside the box for today. I mean, this thing right here, <laughs> straightforward, we're not going to land some panfish on this thing, you know, maybe, maybe a bass, you know, but not a panfish. This here, yeah, maybe some small panfish. But right now, we gotta go with the striking sausage head, okay? This is the last uh, soft plastic that came inside the box. And I just wanted to point out, this one comes with jig heads, right? So we gotta do some jigging right now instead of free falling and see if anything likes this little chubby soft plastic here in the lake, huh? It actually looks pretty smooth, it feels pretty smooth, so we will see. Fish on, fish on second species of the day. Finally getting the soft plastics out of the way. We got here a small large mouth bass on the striking. Well, this size right here, this is certainly panfish, panfish size right here. So we do know that this does work, right? Although it did take me a while to catch a fish on this thing. But all right, let's take a photo and release this large mouth bass hooked right on top of the mouth too look at that huh? beautiful hook set i cannot believe that we have not landed a bluegill yet this is a panfish a panfish's lamb we landed some warm mouth a small large mouth bass but no bluegill yet unbelievable all righty so with that fish we are done with the soft plastics for the day we went through the aberdeen hooks we went through the soft plastics we only got two things that we have having caught fish on in the box right the ripping shad by northland fishing tackle and the janko fishing <laughs> crappy crank so you know i think we gotta go with a rattle rat, rattle trap style lure right now see if we can catch anything on this and then go with that one but these two are going to certainly be the toughest ones of the day, yeah? Let's do this. Oh, for sure. There we go. On the rattle trap. <laughs> All right, MTB. Not bad, not bad. Not big, not big, as you guys can see. But it was on the rattle trap. Look at that. Inhaled it holy mackerel look at this holy moly dude this fish legit inhaled it okay let me take this out we i got a shot of my large mouth bass today already I'll, I'll need my pliers we're gonna release this guy all right guys we got this bass unhooked he's all energized and ready to go look at that whoa okay ready to go so we got pretty much all yours almost all yours from the mystery tackle box figure out we only have one left oh boy it is the big crankbait now seriously i've been fishing for panfish for a long time okay but i gotta tell you something this lure right here ain't no panfish lure man look at this this 
is a f oh man this crankbait like dives <laughs> well anyways we gotta try to catch a fish on this thing here at newton lake but i would not be surprised if i lost this thing here you know to a trunk or something because i'm fishing in like four feet four to six feet of water max you know and this is a deep diver kinda so i don't know exactly why mr tackle box put this thing in the panfish box but um let's give it a go look at that how i'm gonna fish this look one little jerk and this thing dives a lot you know this is asking to get snagged oh i'm snagged oh no i'm snagged damn i'm snagged pretty bad too oh man i think this is it for the deep diving crankbait i'm snagged pretty bad man those treble hooks you guys saw it like oh man let me see if i can put the wood up whoa i got it back okay i got it back <laughs> by some miracle of the gods i got it back so this is lamb continues but man it's been a tough day with this lure right here you know mtb if you are watching this right now oof, please make my life easier and don't do this again look at the size of this thing man i mean if i picked a different place to fish today maybe you know but i'm still in the opinion that this ain't no panfish lure you know what i'm saying crazy of course if you don't get snagged you get one of these newton lake specials right here being down here this lake forever thankfully we got a trash can right next to us so this is going directly from the lake right that's why i always say don't litter folks you know that is not cool man you guys do this kind of stuff later epf needs to come here and get your trash <laughs> look at that this is the second one that we find today here at newton lake and these ones are, are fresh born look at that one two three four five six seven look at that mama just went in the water here terrified of the asian folk and they follow look at whoa they follow really well look at that that's what the snake has eat right there my friends and northern pike and everything else oh boy all right guys listen i really wanted to do a nice outro for you guys here for this video but i just realized that my battery from the gopro is dying it is blinking you know it is about to die so i want to film this outro real quick okay this is my last battery for the day i'm still here at newton lake in collinswood new jersey sadly this is where we finish our mtb slam for the day we caught fish in pretty much every lure that came inside the box excluding this deep deep diver crankbait okay so count for today two warm mouths and uh, large mouth bass you know not the best days out here but it still counts for something right not to mention that those warm mouths were beautiful all right guys my battery is truly dying it is going to die any moment now so let's finish this video right here folks thank you very much for watching and as always tight lines i'll see you guys next time